And just as you can create a title sequence with iMovie, you can also create an end sequence with iMovie. So in the same realm, you can open up iMovie and start a new project. And we're going to use these title slides again. And what you get are some scrolling credits. Uh, but you don't have to just write scrolling credits if, if you think that your scrolling credits are, are maybe kind of uh, simple and boring, uh, as they may be. But if you do use a scrolling credit, just be aware that if you want them to go very fast or slow, it's all based on how you time your scrolling credits. So if you make your duration of your scrolling credits go, you know, 12 seconds, then it's going to go very slowly. But if you make the duration of your scrolling credits go, um, you know, only a couple seconds, then they're going to go quite fast. Scrolling credits is one way to do your end credits. You can also create an end credit sequence like the one you just saw, where each, you have an image of an actor and you, uh, or maybe you start with the title of the movie. And if you ever want to edit the text, always click on the blue. You start with the title of the movie. Again, and you can use some of these fun ending effects, like this one, uh, which is kind of fun. And All right, so that's one way to do it. You can do it this way. These are some nice effects. So when your end credit sequence go, think of it as they're having music, and then Crazy Teacher Teacher played by Mr. Rezac. Great. Uh, and if you wanted to put an image over that, just like I did in the other tutorial, go to your photos, grab your image, and then you can create, go back to your titles, and you can do the same thing, but just lay it on top. And you can do that. And just there you go, and you're done. So you have a few different ways you can do it. All right, guys, so have fun with those credits and get those done as soon as possible. Thanks.